Good evening guys, um, welcome back to the channel. Very sorry that I haven't updated you over the past couple of months, but welcome to Unit 5 Motorsport. Um, I'm joined here by Christian, who is the, I would say mechanic, but he's a bit more um, specialist than that. Engineer. Sorry, he's an engineer. But yeah, welcome to uh, Unit 5 Motorsport. On today's video, we shall be fitting some hell braided brake lines to the car, because as you can imagine, since we've upped the power, the stopping has been a little bit questionable. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that. We'll also be fitting some Powerflex uh, poly bushing exhaust. Um, hopefully we'll be fitting a new exhaust gasket because since I've had the pops and bangs added to the map, it's been a bit too aggressive and it's disintegrated a gasket with a fire ring in it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's um, not very good. Uh, well, these guys at Unit 5 Motorsport, they not only just deal with your normal day-to-day -day cars, they deal with modified vehicles as well. They're no stranger to doing anything from an engine conversion, tuning. Um, Christian here is a bit of a whiz at the aftermarket management, uh, MOT, services, repairs, diagnostics. Uh, Christian also likes to, uh, well, let's say likes, he specialises in Ford and Vag vehicles. Um, he also is working on a very, well, select few people know this, he's working on a lot of big brake conversions at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what, so, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> sponsoring uh, Aaron at Race TV in the Straight Liners 1.6 series, uh, Dakota Dragon Drift. Now is an ideal opportunity to take advantage of the 15% uh, discount on fitting on hell hoses if you buy through Unit 5 Motorsport. Uh, this year I'm sponsoring Aaron at, uh, on the 1.6 Straight Liners. Uh, I'm going to be uh, sort of trackside with the lorry and all the equipment you know, in case he needs anything for uh, taking it down the strip. Uh, this, my car is currently a ZTEC Turbo 2 litre, it uh, has an ST170 cylinder head, um, it runs a GT25 Turbo, uh, it's got a Mark III Fiesta twin pass intercooler, uh, 440cc injectors out of the Focus RS, uh, and this all runs on Motorsport Electronics ECU, the ME221, which I also sell through Unit 5 Motorsport. Uh, this is a very good setup and it will make decent power uh, it's done approximately 560 miles of running in i've got another 400 or so to do before uh, i carry on with the mapping and then we should be able to put a bigger map sensor on and see a lot more power oh and guys when it comes down to the discount code for unit 5 motorsport on the fitting of the hell hoses don't forget to quote raise tv without saying raise tv you are getting nowhere so yeah Remember that. Right then guys, as you can see, well, I don't know how well you can see, the, um, there it is. I've done a bit of a bodge repair recently because I heard a leak. But the, the gasket has completely and utterly disintegrated up in there. We'll hopefully find it out when we take it out directly. 
But yeah, these are not built from factory to hold a three inch exhaust system. Let's just say that lightly. No way are they. So when you do go around to doing your exhaust guys, make sure you do get hold of some PowerFlex bushes, fully recommended. Also, if you can't get hold of the PowerFlex ones, pop into your local Ford dealer, because the Mark II Focus RS are exactly the same size and they work out one penny cheaper. So yeah, we're gonna be taking this apart now and we'll be getting right back to you. As you can see from the shiny new gasket to the failed one that there is a little bit of a difference that is practically been crumbling in my fingers and it's only been on the car for a matter of about three months so it pays to not go cheap ebay i've learned the hard way So here's the standard Ford um, exhaust hanger. As you can see how spongy that is, no way can that take the extra weight that the three inch is giving, especially when it's being shunted backwards and forwards with the pops and bangs as well, we've, you know, it's very, very aggressive on my car as it is. But yeah, no way is that built to take it whatsoever. So if you do go down that route, I suggest you get one of these bad boys. This thing is absolutely solid. There is no movement whatsoever. They normally retail in at around £10 each. On the ST, or I do believe also the Mark 7 Fiesta, you will need four of these suckers to polybush the whole of your exhaust. So yeah, just a friendly heads up and a good bit of advice there. Right, so we fitted the polybush uh, exhaust mounts. Makes a hell of a lot of difference on the move. well, movement, lack of movement now. The best way I find of putting these on is put a bit of WD-40 down the holes and then just uh, squish it on because they are as tight as a nun's chuff otherwise. The uh, I think most of the problems with the downpipe where it was split and leaking is probably a lot of it due to, due to exhaust movement as well as also the bolts not being up for the job but they've now been loctited and fully sealed on. So then guys, that's the exhaust all sorted out. Hopefully I'll be having no more leaks. I'll tell you what, it's certainly a bit interesting when I was having the pops and bangs underneath my feet. Yeah, I do not advise that. I'd suggest if you do suffer that problem, you get it sorted out. <laughs> so now we will be moving on to the brake lines. Now, this is one thing I wouldn't trust myself to do is brakes. <laughs> so that. That's the worst that can happen, yeah. Racing. <laughs> you got a dodge brake, do you? Yeah, you only stop once. <laughs> Sorry, bang just bang the first before you. Yeah, yeah. Bang into first loop. Bye bye gearbox. Chocolate melting gearbox. Oh, I'd be so strong, maybe. Did Ford actually send something out of the factory tight? No. Or is that from... <laughs> no, no, they sent it out rusty. <laughs> just sent it out rusty. No, they sent the parts going on. Or is that from where me and Mark had to disconnect it to get that out? Yeah, that's, that's mine and Mark's work. That's impacted it. <laughs> is, that, is that standard, that black thing in the headlight? Black thing in my headlight? Oh, what, the yeah. eyebrow? Yeah. No, that's TRC. That underneath mate. it. Oh, no, that's vinyl. That's just a bit of vinyl wrap going down there. It is, it's like a Stella Special, punch the watch. Yeah, punch the wall. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Stella idea. Stella. 
Yeah. This is the Monster or Stella. Stella. <laughs> what else have we got going around at the moment? You got Bola. the Beast. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sorry if you're in an RS. <clears throat> if you're in an RS, yeah. Uh, do, do you do that? Oh, you want to have some ST? Yes, big letters. Loves the Beast. Big, yeah, you got to put the. Well, actually, if you look on his uh, rain strip. <laughs> Boosters! Yeah, too right. It's not a sunstrip, it's a rain Boosters! It's not for babies. No! It's not a sunstrip, it's a rain strip because we live in the UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah, our rain strip. No, it's a snow strip. You peel off when you're done. <laughs> to be fair, that is the second one I've made. The first one did come off due to snow. Got water, got up underneath it, froze it, and it flipped off in the wind. Yeah. I had that with a bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <coughs> oh dear, it's down the cold. Well, yeah, breaking in there as well. Yeah, it is. One, one foot. Oh, it's something. Oh, it's just like my mirror caps are black as well. I bought them off of eBay. Black mirror caps. Do you want to grab a tray? Oh, you're going to piss liquid everywhere. Try. <clears throat> it's not quite the same, but <laughs> it's old. It's a drip. <laughs> you talk about, about me again. Yeah. <laughs> Granddad lips. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I have a you missed, the old. Never trust you in the public, so they're pissing everywhere. <laughs> Whoa, whatever. Can I drop the soap? I think that bit was probably needed. Nah, I think so. You've done this before, yeah? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> My mum said I'm an engineer. <coughs> what website did you buy engineering to be on? Uh, Handyhose.com. <laughs> Good question. Mm. How many hose indeed? Was that 17? I don't know. Can you the top one? Huh? What's that? Yeah, no, it wasn't key. Oh, God. Getting some nice footage of your hairline here. <laughs> the receding bit or the... Uh... <laughs> the receding bit. You know, so yeah. I spit on it and rub it in. Yeah, Jordan, <laughs> yeah, Jordan calls that. <laughs> Is that Jordan's job though? Yeah, literally. I thought it was Jordan's job. Yeah, I'm that, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Literally, how do you fuck up doing breaks in the same car twice? I don't understand. No, I, put one side on. I, I was wounded with no leg and I still managed to put the brakes back together than you did. I did. Yeah, yeah I know, before you arrived. No, we didn't have one side when I turned up. The side I put together was the side I was about to start. Because you put the shoes and all the springs off one side and the other side. Packed a whole video. Did it all, did it all come in New Year's? Yes. All new washers, all new this. Ooh, get on, shiny. You're not going to strike a pose of it? <laughs> I like red, red is for wraith cars. <laughs> red makes it go faster. No, it doesn't ask Jordan. <laughs> does, does red not make it? Oh, he was his faded though, he was his more pink. <laughs> <laughs> Fading <isn't> red. <laughs> Your race car is a pink car. <laughs> Oh, the blue eye, the pink car had a race. Wow, pink <laughs> Mine are slightly purple, Cadbury's, yeah. Oh, you're not a fan of your Cadbury purple and red car? No. No. You want to remind you of mum's, though? Sorry? That's our table, she painted that Cadbury's purple. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> put a past her. <laughs> Oh 
Easy as that, eh? Not quite. No. Then we're going to get Christian to bleed it. I'll set the car down, it's fine. Is that a banjo? No. That's a job job. Yeah, I, I don't bleed brakes, I work on inboard stuff, I've got to worry about it. So I haven't worked on 2CV yet. <laughs> it's not quite 2CV. It's a Really put it down, isn't it? Is that how you've done yours, that side? What? Oh, right. Have the hose the other side of it. Yeah. yeah. Getting all Jeremy Clarkson on it now. <coughs> so, so what you're going to have to you break the lines in. That's it. That's it. You done? Well, I mean, like, in general. Oh, um, well, I'm going to hopefully be having a bit of a uh, workshop day a few days' time over at my place. Spraying some bits up in the front, just a bit of visual. Oh, visual. Visual, yeah. Oh, I've got to start my show season prep soon, haven't I? Otherwise, it's just going to be... Better, better bit of polishing <laughs> man out there. Yeah, I'm not hardly going to polish at the moment. I take the clay pit road as a daily route to work, am I? Well, Clay bar, yeah, it's a natural clay bar effect. Yes, the car is covered Spirit. in natural clay bar. <laughs> Wash and wax on the go. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like it's actual shampoo. It's like abrasive stuff in it. I polish it at the same time. Oh, Sod that. Your moss raggets and what? I know my paintwork isn't exactly up to a detailer's spec, but it ain't bad. I should have seen tin. I thought one, beef, I didn't want to The one next door to Fountain Chippy. Yes. What's that for? Um, God, is I don't really pay attention like that. It's, it's always been like the Fountain Garage, mm. but I can't remember. I can, I can tell you. No, I used to have to one, but then I realised I don't know people can stay there. Do you like me? All right, that's fine. Yeah, actually, we'll put it in front of I know that's actually a cool boy. Have you seen now they've put um, barriers on Halfords car park to stop um, car meets in the evenings in, in King State? Oh, yeah, it's got a lift yeah. barrier now. Aaron's not got anything to do anymore. No, that's why we go in um, Tesco's <laughs> underground bit now. Because ah, it's actually. That's why everybody's going in there. Because it's sheltered. Yeah. A, it's sheltered. B, it's still light. Plus, when you get immersed in it, it's You get your blow off and exhaust kicking off as well in there now. Wap. <laughs> and then my case, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been a whole 24 hours since I've had my brake lines fitted uh, by Unit 5 Motorsport. I must say, um, since they fitted, uh, all of the sponginess has gone out of the lines. And as soon as you hit the brake, it stops. I wish I'd done it sooner. Remember the discount code from those guys for fitting fee is minus 15%. Oh, hello. Come up here, then. <laughs> I've been joined by my little fluffy friend. Hey, hey, Mills. What's this? Oh. <laughs> hey. Can you say hello? <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, minus 15% on a fitting fee. And um, oh, she's distracted me now. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I wish I'd done it sooner. Uh, look these guys up on Facebook, as that's the way you'll be able to contact them. <laughs> and, um, yeah, ask for Christian, and uh, he'll message back to you. So thanks again for watching the film. Um, got distracted by my little puppy Jack Russell there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, next video, hopefully, um, well, I'll be showing you around my workshop. So.
thanks guys and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.